Well, good afternoon, West Ham fans. Is it a case of going from bad to worse for Julian Lopetegui? Yes, everybody, Russell and West Ham Network. Hope you're safe and well. Happy Friday. We've done another week, my friends, and West Ham can just about ruin it tomorrow as we take on Everton in a crunch game, not only for both clubs in terms of points, but also in terms of both head coaches or slash managers in Everton's case. You know, it's a, it is a, a, a crunch game in more ways than one, a proverbial six-pointer. Um, and it could be a case that our team selection may be even more hampered for Julien. So, in terms of um, players we know definitely aren't playing, we know Nicholas Falker definitely isn't playing. We, he sort of mentioned he, he quite quite a lot in the press conference, questions asked about his return date. Manana, Manana, you know, we, we don't know, which is which is worrying, which also reminds me of a, an injury that we had. Uh, it was Aaron Cresswell's injury, wasn't it, when he hurt his tailbone? And um, they just couldn't put a date on it. Just couldn't put a date on when he, when he would return. So, not great. Not great at all. Uh, we know that Mohamed Kadus is serving the third in a five-match ban now. But I'm um, And we know that obviously Edson Alvarez will be suspended because of a uh, two yellow cards in the last game against uh, Forest. But it could be even worse, my friends. It could be even worse. Um, as apparently Julian has major headaches. Um, and indeed, I- I'm going to go back and re- try and re-listen the press conference. Because I'm pretty sure he mentioned giving people time, um, as much time as possible to recover. And it does seem potentially that he could have, according to reports, even more players not available. Ready to hang yourself? Here we go. Um, (laughs) According to reports, this is coming out of Hammers News, amongst others. um, Jared Bowen and uh, Jean-Claire Todebo, both are doubts for the game. Neither have been training apparently this week. Um, but with reports, the manager could be sacked. Obviously, if West Ham lose, desperate times call for desperate measures. And apparently, um, they are going to be given um, the last possible moment to prove their fitness ahead of the game. We know Jean Claire was, you know, he wasn't risked at the start of the Man United game due to a, a, an unknown injury, which we still don't know of. Um, and he's since admitted he's only probably about 80% fit. So um, obviously we go into a situation now where we have, um, we have, you know, obviously uh, international breaks. Um, obviously Bowen hasn't been called to England squad. John Clare, obviously not in the French squad. Um, so yeah, he may well be wrist um, and they'll be given the latest possible fitness test to prove there, um, allow them to face Everton at the weekend. Also, we still has a, it's still a question mark around Thomas Suchek. Obviously, we, we we don't haven't had any confirmation about whether he'll return from his uh, virus, which he had last week. We sort of need him, really, uh, in all honesty. Um, so yeah, it, it could be a case of being going from bad to worse. As I said, we've got a situation now where we've got you know three first teamers. Although Falk, you know, hasn't really played much, but two first teamers out already, plus the potential maybe another three. Uh, I know Everton are having a somewhat injury crisis as well, but um, yeah, I might bring my boots, might get a game. Um, now, the chances of all, all of them not playing is slim in terms of Tolibo, Bowen and Suchek, but they are all doubts. Um, so again, it wasn't something which was mentioned in the press conference. I think, uh, I, I, I mean, the question wasn't really asked, but that's what's coming out with some new sources that um, we could have major doubts going into the game. It does. I mean, he did allude to the fact that it does give others opportunities and you've got to look at the likes of Luis Guilherme, who they, they put a lot of, um, the club have put a lot of, uh, what's it called? Uh, a lot of a lot of time on socials from recently. So maybe um, you could see him having a sizable um, impact yeah, tomorrow, whether it's, as a start or, or a major sort of, you know, half off the bench, like he usually does in terms of the Julian Lopetegui set up. Um, some of you, obviously, you know, you've got to look at the likes of Andy Irving, who who's, who could well, you know, even 
get a, a, a start potentially. And actually, I wouldn't be I wouldn't be against that at all. Um, obviously, Lucas Paqueta, he's not suspended. People have mentioned, oh, he got five yellow cards and stuff, but he has. But four of them were in the Premier League and one was in the League Cup. So obviously, if he gets a yellow card tomorrow, my bit on it. Um, then, um, then he will be suspended for the Newcastle game after the international break. Um, people like Mavropanos, you know, are going to be key as well. Um, he came out on the website, um, West Ham website, saying he would play anywhere for West Ham. He might well have to. Maybe that was very timely. Maybe he's going to have an unusual role tomorrow, maybe. Um, and he has himself uh, has been called up to the uh, for international duty uh, for Greece. Um, they've got four wins out of four at the moment, but so too has Mami Kadu. So he's he'll be fresh for Ghana. Um, and then we'll come back. He's still got two weeks until probably he's back playing for West Ham now. Um, it's, uh, yeah, and obviously Lucas Paqueta. He's, despite the fact that actually the less, it'd be quite interesting actually, because if he did get, so if he got suspended the Newcastle game, no. What could be quite useful, because because obviously with Lucas Paqueta, it's an interesting situation because, uh, you know, around the time we play Leicester City, that's when actually the Brazilian hearing has been adjourned to. Um, so he could get, you know, be, be a clever boy, be a sensible boy tomorrow, um, get a yellow card against Newcastle, you know, because he might not be able to be available for the Leicester game anyway if he's over in Brazil at the hearing. So he might as well try and serve it. He's, that's very Kevin Nolan-esque, wasn't it? Just before Christmas. Um, but what's encouraging is, in terms of Brazil and Lucas, he's been called up um, to the. Uh, is he? Yes, he is. He's, been, he's set to return to the to, to Brazil um, for um, the games against uh, what we got Venezuela and Uruguay as well. So that's interesting to know. Um, also, Edson Alvarez has been named in the squad for their November fixtures as well. So, anyway, that's by the by. We've got to get past with Everton first. Um, and as I said, we've definitely three players out with potentially another three. If if we're, you know, worst case scenario, we're Bowie and Todibo and Suchek all doubts. Um, obviously, Suchek had the virus last week. We'll see, I, I haven't seen much. In fact, I couldn't see. I was re watching the. Um, Rewatching the the training video, and I couldn't see. Obviously, I didn't see Bowen, didn't see Todibo. I don't think I could see Suchek either, but I didn't look properly for Suchek. That was just a, an afterthought. I thought, oh, what about Suchek? But anyway, we will um, have Hammond's headlines later on. Um, this morning, I did a piece about short term pain for long term gain. Please go and watch it. I'm fascinated to get your thoughts. Um, as I said, we're going to do a follow up next week during the international break on that um, because. It, it's an interesting theory, and if it's a, th- it might just, it's just a theory. But you know, sometimes these things, when you start looking at them together in isolation and start pairing them together, rather than look at them in isolation, I mean, it sometimes see a, a clearer path. Maybe I don't know. Anyway, take care, stay safe, stay warm, stay humble, keep the faith. Come on, you bloody bloody irons, irons. <laughs>